Hmm. Howdy folks, uh, today we're going to go into the dark world a little bit. Sometimes you need to be able to see things and just to be able to see them can allow you to make repairs. This is just a couple of crazy little things that I use. I've got this old handheld uh, flashlight with a, you know, uh, I think it's 10, 10 power uh, magnifier in it. And sometimes that allows you to look at a part, especially when you want to look at close up. If I'm working on something like electronics or something, a lot of times I'll use one of these. But uh, recently I was working on a tractor and I needed to get to a part that I just, you could not see it. I even tried getting my cell phone up in there and getting a picture or something, still couldn't see it. Nothing seemed to work. But what I want to talk about is being able to get into these crazy tight places and these dark worlds sometimes. So you can see, and we've got a new tool in here for that. And we've had one, uh, I think it was last year, but this is a new one. Ah, yeah. The DS600 from Depths Tech. Oh yeah. So let's, let's take a look at this and review it today. It looks pretty darn cool. <laughs> Wow, there it is. First of all, I got to thank Depths Tech for sending this over to us, the DS600. And I think it's it's a fairly new model, but it has some pretty interesting features besides the dual lens and, you know, some other things. But let's get this thing open. It also has a nice, uh, yeah, storage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can store this. And, okay, we've got this out of here and Let's see what we got. We got instructions. Yep. So we've got a nice little booklet here of instructions on different things that you can be, yep, for all the different features that are on here besides the dual ends. And a very, yeah, the cabling they say on this one is pretty, yeah, oh, it is too. Yes, it's nice and stiff, but you can, you know, you can shape it so you can, you know, make an S turn or just straight in or whatever. There's your, uh, let's see, there's your camera on this end. Also, it comes with a little hook. Uh, kit that you can put on the camera with you. So if you send the camera down somewhere, you can actually hook onto something. Like if you're doing like a clogged drain, for example, <clears throat> nah, that would never happen. Uh, yeah, you can put this hook on and send the camera down and actually watch yourself, so what you're doing, and get hooked into like, you know, a rag or something that went down the drain by mistake in the shop. That uh, again, you know, would never happen, right? You know. <laughs> This is a nice, 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 nice outfit. Yeah, and what I like about it, saw this right off the bat, was it's handheld, which is really nice because when you're working a camera, it's nice to be able, you know, look at the picture like this and work the camera, you know, so you can see, you know, watch what you're doing. This comes at a, let's see, this might take a minute. So we might have to take a break for a second here because I got to plug this. Apparently there's a USB plug here that we're going to charge it up with. So we can fully charge it. Yeah, you don't have to put batteries in this thing or anything. You just charge it up and use it. So we'll take it over to right here. There's a TF card, uh, memory card, so you can record video or you know whatever it is you're looking at. So we'll get this plugged in. We'll charge it up, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll go to the dark world, right? <laughs> Okay, we're back and we're all charged up. Uh, did I mention fast charging? I plugged this thing in and it charged in about 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know how low the battery was obviously, but uh, 10 minutes and it was fully charged. So, wow, okay, good. The uh, operation, I guess we'll take a look at the features. Number one, of course, there's dual uh, lenses up here. So the camera can go this way or it can look side to side if, if you need to. So that's a cool thing. Plus the, the little hook you can put on there to hook onto something if you are trying to do some work in something that small and that tight. Good luck with all that, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at the features. Man, this is, this is a cool item. So now that the battery is fully charged, we will uh, hold this side button here for a couple seconds. And there we go, we're gonna boot up the uh, screen. By the way, it's a 4.3 inch screen. So it's a very large screen. In fact, the camera's looking at the side of my shop right now. Uh, we can go to a menu setting and we have uh, resolution, of course. Oh, by the way, 1080p. So, you know, at 25 frames a second, if you know cameras, you, that will mean something to you. If you don't know cameras, well, don't worry about it. It just means it's, it's pretty good, you know, it is very good. We can go down through the menu, uh, language, uh, auto power off. Uh, if you leave it sitting somewhere, it'll shut, it can shut itself down. 
Uh, data transmission, uh, at this point we're recording to a TF card, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that, but uh, screen brightness, again, you can adjust how bright this screen is, plus you can adjust the light that's being emitted by the uh, camera. And further down, we've got format. And, and format is definitely, uh, yes, we're going to format. So we're gonna come over here and say, okay, and we'll go yes, and we'll, there, we'll verify. It'll format the TF card so that it's ready to go for uh, recording video or photos. You can do either one. So for this little gadget is a nice little uh, something, well, something you sort of need around the shop these days. Let's see if we have anything more. Oh, reset the system. Uh, time setting, uh, storage space, it'll let you know if you're running out. Of course, at 32 gig, uh, we can hold quite a bit of uh, information, I guess, at that point. Also, the firmware, and it ex explains the what's in there. Okay, back to resolution. So we'll just hit the menu button, and that will go back to, we're looking at the uh, camera again. So, it's basically easy to use. Yeah, that's that's always a big thing. The TF card slot is here on the side. The charging piece is over here on this side too. Weird because, you know, a lot of times these things can be really awkward. This thing has a nice handle so you can hold on to it while you're taking your camera and running it down into the the dark area. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next feature I guess I should point out is you can see the battery is fully charged here. It also shows the status here with the TF card. In the center here, you can see that there's actually a, where the camera and the lights, the LED lights, which are in the camera looking forward. And you can see that it's on. So that's another status. Also, there's the camera itself with the picture. And if we decide we're gonna take a video, okay, we can switch over. Now we show a video camera with a little red dot. And we are now videotaping whatever the camera's seeing. So if we move the camera around, you know, we're, we're getting it. <laughs> what a great little toy. <laughs> yeah. Actually for a very good price. Uh, if I'd had this a couple of months ago, uh, I had an engine project I was on, this would have saved me about the same price as what this thing costs, yeah. Because I ended up having to buy head gaskets uh, for the engine. And it was a mistake that was made afterwards because there was water in the cylinder. I was checking and checking, I couldn't see in there. This would have showed me the water and I would have known to clean the water up before I say, you know, blew a head gasket or something. This is camera to camera, so this is gonna be a little weird, but. What we're looking at right now, well here, I'll just bring it over here for a second, is the castle. This is the little castle that I printed uh, just last week on 3D print. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look inside the doorway here. Inside this castle is a little tiny stairwell. So I'm gonna put that into the camera here and we're gonna go look in the doorway of the little castle and there, there you can see the stairwell, you know. Yeah, isn't that cool? What a cool item. Uh, before I go any further, I'm just gonna mention this camera here. This is a one meter. You can also get a uh, three meter and you can also get a five meter, a really long you know, camera if you need it. I think this length here is just perfect for around workshops. So the you know, price wise is pretty good. Oh, and the other thing, uh, this is not, uh, this is an endoscope, but it's not medical grade, okay guys? So don't get any stupid ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in the shop, use it around the, the motorcycle, the cars, check for carbon in the pistons or carburetor issues, uh, especially intakes. I really love this thing around an intake because a lot of times there's a, you know, some problems with intakes or even the worst possibility would be, you know, uh, <clears throat> I did see a rag sucked into an intake one time and this would have been perfect for go down in there and capture and pull the rag back out. I think it was a 327 I was working on at the time, a long time ago. Anyways, yeah, 327, you know, yeah, motor, you know. But um, what a great item for the lousy hundred and some odd, was it $19 I think it was at the time I checked the prices on it. You know, what a great tool. And it'll get, get you around and you get to see things you otherwise can't get into. There's no, uh, I will provide a link of course to where you can find this, but there's no uh, affiliate or sponsorship or anything like that going on here. So we don't get paid for anything, there's no commission or anything like that. Uh, they sent this over to me to do a review, which we are working, well, I'm showing it to you right now. And as far as it goes, easy to use, easy to understand. So uh, yeah, I've had them in before and this is, this is probably the, so far this is about the nicest model I've had in here. I really like this one because ease of use, easy to use, and the buttons are a no-brainer. 
I like tools that work that way, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there's one other question here, I guess we better answer. Uh, the camera itself, you can see it's right there. And the uh, this size is about, in US terms, it's about 5 16 So around 3 eighths of a hole, you could actually get the camera in, or larger, of course, you know, uh, it would be easy, a spark plug hole, anything like that, of course, no problem. But I just thought I'd add, uh, mention that before I uh, finish this out. Yeah. Did I mention Christmas is coming and might be a good birthday gift, but it might be a good Christmas gift for somebody who has everything. Okay, yeah, I said that. Wow, so that should about wrap that one up. That's, that's pretty neat. Uh, next week, next Thursday, we're giving away a, a camera on the show, so that's cool. Somebody's gonna win themselves a nice little camera for a 3D printer. And we always give tools away, so we're working on that too. And Monday we have a brand new tool, tool, yeah, tools coming in that we'll be looking at and from a new supplier, which should be, which is gonna be really interesting. It's kind of an eye opener for me, so it's gonna be a very interesting supplier. And uh, thank you for watching Coffee Tools and please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. <laughs> And I guess we're going to call this, uh, what was it, Thursday? Yeah, it's over. Okay. I'm over and out. <laughs>